Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 23rd of 2020. Well, it is titled illustrious simulation of the universe. So what do we see here? Well, here we can watch billions of years 13 billion years worth of evolution of the universe modeled by supercomputer simulations and in fact 20 million CPU hours needed to create the uh, what we see in this video. And the video will run a couple of minutes here and we'll go through a number of different things that we will see. So as we play the video, what will we see first? Well, we start to see the earliest times of this of the universe. And what we're seeing is the dark matter and it will tell you off to the lower right hand side actually what you're looking at. To the lower left, it will tell you how long it's been since the Big Bang. So for the first section of this, we are looking at dark matter as the dark matter begins to condense down into long, thin filaments that make up the universe. And this is what we see in our universe today that galaxies are confined to long, thin, thin filaments and great voids in between them. And a lot of this is caused by the dark matter, which is where it happened to condense because it was able to start collapsing earlier on than the ordinary matter. Then we begin to see the hydrogen gas. So the colors will change and we'll start to see hydrogen gas present and gas temperatures. So you'll see some great explosions. These are actually material being pushed out by the supermassive black holes at the center of the galaxy. So that is what we're seeing is material being pushed out there bubbles of hot gas. So you can see the very high temperatures associated with these compared to the cooler temperatures further away. And the universe continues to evolve through this and continues to develop heavier and heavier elements. And what we will switch over to shortly is the heavy element concentration. So you'll see a lot of the material will seem to almost disappear as we're now looking at heavy elements, things other than hydrogen. So we start to see far more concentrations of this material associated with where it has developed with a lot of star clusters that have undergone many supernova explosions. That is where these heavy elements will come from. So we start to see concentrations of those as to where the clusters have been as compared to where the uh, dark matter was and where the hydrogen gas was further spread out. Then we go back again to the end we see the dark matter again as it's concentrated as well. So we can start to see the concentrations of dark matter and how ordinary matter will concentrate within those. And towards the very end here we come across invisible light. What would we see in this uh, image in visible light? And you can see how the galaxies have been concentrated where the concentrations of dark matter were present. So the dark matter sort of formed the structures of the universe. And this is because it was able to condense it did not interact with the energy early on in the history of the universe. So it only interacts through gravity. So it was able to start collapsing down and forming structures long before ordinary matter was able to. And that's what gives rise to our structure today. And what we're able to see in this simulation, we can see now that those concentrations are what correspond to galaxies to our galaxies today. Now, of course, the simulation will not match up perfectly in terms of details as to where all of the galaxies formed and the exact structures of exact uh, orientations and structures of galaxies. But it's meant to show statistically how our universe would be able to form from these. So this is one of the things that we're trying to look at to better understand the simulations. And for example, why this simulation produced too many old stars far more than we're able to see. So we don't necessarily see everything correct and the simulation will certainly need more work and models will need to be refined to match what our actual universe looks like.
So that was our picture of the day for February the 23rd of 2020. It was titled illustrious simulation of the universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be lunar portal. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.